brought the certificate of return given to the man called Senator Ahmed Bola Tinibu as president-elect. Seven, appoint an interim president for Nigeria that will take over from President Muhammadu Buhari after being carried out by INEC before going through every election action carried out by INEC before, during, and after the presidential elections and discovered that the leadership of INEC did not host an election with the influence of the Electoral Act but hosted a doctored script already arranged as a selection game plan to make the ruling APC remain in office. These actions are wrong from every aspect of a nation practicing democracy as a system of government. And as a democracy outfit, we in the, v we in the VMCII are officially rejecting the outcome of the elections released by INEC as results and we are only we are the only ones that are fit enough to ask the INEC and the federal government to revert the process the proceedings of the 2023 presidential elections to a cooking pot of a stillborn child because its process are honestly not accepted by the people and the values of our democracy in general. The world knows that these presidential elections were conducted under a very serious disrespectful disrespect to our citizenry because INEC refused to follow the rules of the game, which provides that voting results were expected to be uploaded at real time, which the world did not see at all. These are electoral irregularities and it, provide, it, it provided the platform for the election rigging we have seen today. One, cancel the presidential elections. Two, upload original voters' result as in the beavers. Three, Remove the INEC chairman as head of the commission. Four, arrest the INEC chairman and prosecute him by law for being part and parcel of those who read this election in regards to making the APC remain in power. Five, withdraw the certificate of return given to the man called Senator Ahmed Bola Tinibu as president-elect. Six, present a new electionary calendar date for the presidential and national assembly election in view of the 2023 electionary act by the, uh, uh, um, supported by the uh, electoral act of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Seven, appoint an interim president for Nigeria that will take over from President Muhammadu Buhari after May 29, 2023, so that the interim president will finish the, will finish the work load that President Muhammadu Buhari is expected to do in May 29. Because if INEC or this federal government agrees to cancel this election, it means that there will be new there will be a new electionary plan and the law states that president buhari cannot be allowed to stay more than may 29 for uh, his tenure in office so therefore that brings an opportunity why an interim national government will be formed so we advise the president to please stand aside follow the law shop from now for someone who could be appointed as the interim president that will conduct the new elections while he go back to Daura, May 29. INEC chairman must 
eight, Anik Chama must apologize to Nigerians for lying to the nation and faking the 2023 presidential election results. Nine, we state here in that with our findings of the electionarian activities, Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party remains the winner of the 2023 presidential elections. So he should be declared winner if the elections can not be cancelled as requested by the Nigerian people who voted for him nationwide, giving Peter Obi their mandate. Meaning that if these elections cannot be cancelled, we have to use the beavers to declare the real results. We have these results already with our agents scattered across Nigeria in the election day, and we have decided to declare that Peter Obi of the Labour Party is the original winner of the 2023 presidential elections, and INEC should obey the law by declaring Peter Obi president of Nigeria. 10. As we stand up daily at the National Fountain in Abuja for our democracy and our presidential mandate, we call on the federal government to take away any security personnel that will be a distraction to our very peaceful protest to take back our Nigeria at all costs. This means that this group is going to come out from tomorrow at the Unity Fountain to peacefully protest the return of our mandate stolen by the Anik chairman and his leadership until they return that mandate either in court or either by cancellation of the elections for another election will remain there and we advise and we expect that the security apparatus of the Federal Republic of Nigeria controlled by President Mohamed Buhari should not be a distraction to what we are doing. We are going to be there in peace. We love Nigeria. And the only way to show love for Nigeria is to present Peter Obi as president of Nigeria or